Hello, my name is Vignesh, and this is going to be Math Lecture 12 in the Math Lecture Series. Today we'll be going over circles, and as usual, these notes, as well as the problem set attached, and the answers, are on Google Classroom. So I highly suggest you go to Google Classroom and you look over the notes. If you're not already in a Google Classroom, the join code is in the description below. I highly suggest you join so you can get access to these notes, as well as all the other notes for this for math and all the other sections. But yeah. So what I would suggest is when I, I, you, you can watch me explain these notes and then before I start the problem set, I would suggest you go and you do the problem set yourself. Like, and, and then, so that way that you, you know you have experience in doing the problems. And, and I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, only gonna, I'm only gonna be going over like a couple of the problems on the problem set. However, if you need any help on the other ones, the, the answers do have a quick explanation as well. But if you need further help, you can always email in Power Prep or try to message me or email me. My email is vigneshkumarus at gmail.com. But yeah, moving on. So today we're going over circles. And the main thing you need to know for circles are the key formulas slash concepts. So like, for example, the first thing you need to know, area equals pi r squared. That's pretty simple. So like, let's say you have a radius of five, your area would be 25 pi. And usually you don't have to do like 25 times two by one four and like plug it into your calculator. Usually the answer would just be 25 pi. Circumference two pi r. This is also pretty simple and pretty like basic equation. So let's say you have a radius of five. Your your your, your circumference would be ten pi. Now we have arc length. So arc length, like let's say you had in this circle here, arc length would be like a b. Like it's like the length of that side. And to find arc length, you you would take you do two pi r times theta over 360 theta is just any it's like a fill it's like it's really like a variable to plug in for an angle measure so like the, in this case theta would be this measure right here so and if, if you want it, basically how it works is what, whatever whatever the proportion of this of this angle to the whole circle that propo that proportion is is the same as the angling proportion to the whole circumference of the circle that's basically what it is then we have area of a sector, so that would be the area of this part. And that's also pretty simple. It's theta over 360 times pi r squared. So in this case, it's just that instead, instead of finding the ratio of arc length over circumference, it's, it's the area of this area, sector, sector area over total area of the circle. Then we have the equation of a circle in xy plane. So let's say you had any point, you had, you had the center point h comma k, and you had a radius, so, and you, you have a radius. So let's say the, your center point is, Two comma five, and your radius is equal to three. Then your area of this, your, your your equation for the circle would be x minus two squared plus y minus five squared equals three squared, which is nine. So yeah, so that's that's basically how you solve for the uh, the equation for a circle. And then there's something called central angles, which again is just like this angle right here, where like it, it goes from the midpoint. And whatever ink, whatever measure this the, the, the angle measure is, it's the same measure for this for this arc. So like this arc is sixty degrees. And if you had an inscribed angle, which is where it's at the it's it's on the other end of the circle, then whatever this angle is, it would be double that would be the would be the length of this arc, or the measure of this arc. So like if here it's forty one degrees, and now it'd be eighty two degrees. So now let's move on to a couple of practice problems. I'm just gonna do a couple of them. I suggest you pause the video and do the all the practice problems on your own and then come back and I'll go over a couple of them and then you can always, and if you need help, you can always check the answers or message one of us. But yeah, I've said that multiple times in this video, so let's move on. Okay, the first one I'm be going over is number three. The circle above has area 36 pi and is divided into eight congruent regions. What is the perimeter of one of these regions? So you basically, I just pick a random region. I'll say this region right here. I want to know what the perimeter of this is. So first, what's the first thing I know? I need to find the radius. So it'd be two times the radius. Sound right? fine. It would be two times the radius plus this arc length right here. And remember, arc length is just theta over three sixty times. Times two pi r. So in this case, it's gonna be. So now let's plug in all the information I have. The area is thirty six pi. So the area is thirty six pi, and area area equals pi r squared. Sorry. 
area equals pi r squared. Oh, I don't know why he was written like me, nicely. And that equals 36 pi. Then that means radius is equal to the square root of 36, which is 6. So we know r is 6. And for theta, it's divided into eight congruent regions, which means all these angles are the same. So it would just be 360 divided by eight. So we, you just you just plug you, you just plug that into a calculator if you if you think, because it is a calculator section as you can see at the beginning of the palm set. So if you obviously you could you could do it on your own usually, but just in case, always use a calculator. We, we can see that all these angles would be 45 degrees. So this would be 2R plus 45 over 360 times 2 times pi times R is again. Wait, sorry, let's plug in for R. So it'd be 2 times R, which is 6. Times 6 right here. So this is what, so 45 over 360 is 1 8. So alternatively, instead of doing theta over 360, you could have just done 1, 8, because you know it's divided into eight sections. However, I'm, I'm just doing it based on the formula to make it so that like, you guys see where, where I got all the numbers from. So in this case, it'd be 12 plus 1, 8 times 2 pi r times 6 would be 12 pi. This is just 12 plus 1.5 pi, which is why C is the right answer there. Okay, so I'm going to go over this number five. In the figure above, ACB is transcribed in a circle. The length of minor arc AB is what fraction of the circumference of the circle. <clears throat> so if this is 30 degrees, then that means if, if, if it was from a central point, like a central angle, it would have been 60 degrees, right? So that means that the arc length is going to be 60 over 360. And you just, this would just be 6 over 36, which is equal to 1 over 6. So I see the right answer there. So yeah, that's how you use like inscribed angles to like translate to a central angle to find the ratio. The other one to go over is number 10. This one, this, one, this one seems complicated, but it's not really. In the figure above, four circles, each with a radius of four tangent to each other. What is the area of the shaded region? So we can draw a square right here because they're all tangent and the shaded region is from the tangent. This doesn't look exactly like a square, but you, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. And if the radius is four, then that means this is four, 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 four. 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 So that means each side length of the square is going to be six. Is going to <coughs> it's going to be sixteen. So not sixteen, eight. But then, but you multiply that times you square that because it's square to find the area of the square is going to be sixty four. But now we got to subtract the area of the like the the part of the circle. So now, so what I want to know is I want to know what what fraction of the circle is this area. That's basically what I need to know. So. And if you don't know, it's gonna it, that's that's what this is one fourth of the circle because like, if you're drawing the radius like this, it would be one fourth. So since these are all ninety degrees, that means that this is one fourth of the this is one fourth of the circle, which means that and if the if the radius is four, that means the area of the total circle is going to be <coughs> sixteen pi. However, with one fourth of that, so it would be four pi. But it's four of that, so it's back up to 16 pi. So the area, the area of all of these circle bits, like right here, is 16 pi. They're combined, so it's going to be 64 minus 16 pi. Gives me the area of the shaded region, which is why D is the right answer here. Finally, I'm going over number 13. In the area of the shaded region in the figure above is, tw is 25 pi, and the radius of the circle O is 6. What is the value of X? So if the area of the shaded region is 24 pi and radius is 6, that means the, the area of the whole circle would be <coughs> the area of the whole circle would be 36 pi. And if you divide that by 24 pi, we, we get a 3. We get a <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Right, that was my ringtone. Yeah. 
So, yeah, so like I said, we have the, the overall area of the circle is going to be 36 pi. And it's divided by, if we divide it by 24 pi to find out like what the proportion is of like the straighted region. We find that the proportion is going to be a three over two like ratio. So what that tells us is that th this area is going to be one third of the overall, like overall area. So if, if this is one third of the overall area, that means O is equal to O is equal to one third of three one is one third of three sixty, which is just one twenty. And if O is equal to one twenty, then that means two x is going to be equal to sixty because it's one twenty plus sixty has, has to equal one eighty. So that means x is going to be equal to thirty. Which is why B is the right answer there. So I hope this gives you a kind of like a like an experience of what the exam is going to be like, or the questions on the circle on the exam is going to be like. So yeah, that's basically it for this palm set. Wish you the best of luck. And if you have any further questions, you can always contact me or anyone else at Empower Prep. And best of luck on your SAT journey.